Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here today. My name is Mariana Avesum, and I am the project lead of the German representation of the Hyperloop movement. We at the Technical University of Munich are currently working on a prototype to build possibly one of the first Hyperloop prototypes pods out there. Um, so, okay, sorry. Um, by now, everybody here already knows what is the Hyperloop, so I'm not going to spend so, mu so much time working on that. Uh, but I will explain the difference between what we are doing and what uh, HTT is doing with their amazing, great team. Um, as everybody knows, the Hyperloop was announced back in 2013 by Elon Musk. Um, the thing of it is, the guy really has way too much to do already in his hands. So not only do, are there many companies, um, a few companies working on it, last year in June, he started a student competition worldwide to basically see how many students had way too much time on their hands and could come up with a prototype. I will say that one of the biggest difference, be, differences between what we are doing and what HTT is doing is timeline. Um, basically because we don't get to choose our own timeline, it's dictated by us by SpaceX. And our Hyperloop prototype, and in our advantage it is quite smaller, it only fits one person, um, and is definitely not comfortable, but it does have the advantage that it will be done next week. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I hope so. <laughs> when Musk announced the competition back in uh, last year, originally 700 teams worldwide, over 700 teams worldwide, actually applied to join. And not many of them are still around. So I'd like to first of all introduce to you the amazing, te amazing team that today is currently working on this. This is a quite current team picture of us at the tech back in Garching. Uh, you can see a few of those faces around here today. Talk to them. They are amazing engineers. Um, and when you see a big team of 36 people, which definitely is less than 500, um, then you see what happens when motivation comes into play. Um, none of us get paid, so the same thing as HTT. We all do this for the pure motivation and the pure Let's change the future of transportation. Um, but this is no easy task. Um, and it actually started not that long ago. Um, the steam started actually in September. Um, and it took us basically two months to get an initial team together. And in November, we had a concept of how the Hyperloop could look like. Um, magnetic levitation, as uh, most uh, people are using today. Um, a compressor that, of course, was absolutely going to be both cheap, light, buildable, <laughs> and unrealistic. <laughs> when you start to crunch into the numbers and try to get something a bit more realistic, cost and weight really easily go up really fast. <laughs> um, by the time we had a detailed design in January, when we presented our, our concept to SpaceX, um, the cost had uh, more than fourfolded, and I actually stood up in front of SpaceX, and I actually said we could build that in a few months, which, of course, was just students dreaming. But you know what? It worked out. Today, uh, from the 700 people that uh, pl currently apply to the team, to the competition, today only 30 teams worldwide are actually building a prototype. Two of them in Europe. Um, and then the real challenge began. We had a few months to come up with money because when you, uh, because you do need to buy hardware at some point, and come up with a design that would actually work and could actually be feasible in our very short timeline. Um, the image that you see there on the right is our current uh, prototype that I am very happy to say is not really is not just a rendering anymore, but can actually start actually has something very similar to it sitting around in our workshop at 600 kilos and 340 thousand euros. Um, it's not the coolest compressor. It is not the fastest hyperloop in the competition. I will say that it is possibly the most scalable. And it's actually quite done. It's quite done. 
um, and byte is a very important word. Um, here you have a photo of the compressor that we actually were able to buy, because you can't uh, build a compressor in a few months, so we bought one um, from an old alpha jet engine. Um, we are now in the process of finalizing our construction, uh, which will take place in the next few weeks. And then we have testing, 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 testing to do until we can actually fly this thing over uh, next fall, in the next few months, to LA, and where all the teams will compete against each other. Um, I'd like to finish today with, uh, some, uh, with a quote from my favorite uh, English literature uh, poet. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Not everybody thought the Hyperloop could be doable. It is definitely a road not often traveled by, but it can make the difference in the future of transportation. Thank you very much. Um, as we are talking about crowdsourcing the Hyperloop today, I would also like to do a bit of ads. You can like our Facebook page, that Hyperloop team, and where you will find a link to our Indiegogo campaign. We uh, actually still do need money, even if we are that close to the finish line uh, for testing and travel costs to LA. Can help us donate at Indiegogo anytime and get some very Bavarian gifts out of it. Thank you very much. <laughs>